Hello, everybody. Max with Avon Website Pro here. And today we're going to be talking about remarketing to our customers. You know, a lot of people, they use PayPal, WordPress, WooCommerce, they use other systems. Well, the important thing is whenever a customer's checking out is that you get their email and that you... That you're, so you're able to remarket to them whenever you have sales and stuff. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Hey guys, I just want to let you know how to subscribe to my channel real quick. If you click on the little logo, you'll see the subscribe button. If you scroll down here, you'll see the subscribe button. All you do is have to click that subscribe button. And then don't forget, you need to click on this little bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, let's jump right in here. I'm logged into my PayPal account. Now, what we'll do is we'll go over here to where it says more uh, under a summary. So whenever you log into uh, PayPal, you want to click on summary. And then after you click on summary, you're going to get a little thing that has more over here. So we're going to go ahead and click more. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, filter our results, you know, so we could see what we need to do here. Uh, well, over here on the first drop down, we can see if it's active, archived, or all. We're just going to click all here because we're after the email addresses, right? And then we could choose all transactions to include people we've purchased from as well and all currencies. And here's the, the point. Do you want to use the past 30 days, past 90 days, or you can use a custom date uh, from and to. Okay, so we're just going to use maybe the past 90 days for this demonstration. And what we're going to do is click this little download link. Now we could take this uh, transaction type once again, and we want to say all transactions. We'll say for the past six months, and we want the format to be CSV, which, which stands for comma separated values. Okay, and then we're going to click create report. Once the report is created, you're going to see that it's in progress. Now, there's one that I created earlier, but uh, you'll get the download link uh, very shortly, and you'll also get it in your email as well. So let's just go ahead and click download from right here, and we'll say customers. And I'll just go ahead and put this on my desktop for this uh, instructional video. And we can see that we have it downloaded. Now, you can open that in Excel. You can open that in pretty much any uh, data spreadsheet. What I like to do is I like to use Google Drive. And we'll go ahead and go to Google Drive. Once that loads up, I'm just going to take the customers.csv. I'm going to bring it up here and just drop it in so I could show you what to do with it so you can extract email addresses quickly and efficiently. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to click on customer CSV and you see that it opens within a spreadsheet and we'll just say open with Google Sheets just like that and it'll open up on a Google spreadsheet for you and what you want to do uh, if you if you keep track of the names you want to you want to have the names you can actually filter by dates too but let's go ahead and go ahead and click this hold the shift button Clear up to the time zone because we don't need that. And then we'll right click and then we'll delete these columns. See where it says delete columns A through C. And then we're, we're left with the name. The next thing that we'll do is we're going to go over here, select column B, clear to column G because we don't need any of this for remarketing. So we're going to delete those columns. And now we have the email addresses. I'm going to go over here to column D and then clear to the end, right click, uh, delete columns D, and then we'll delete these. We'll delete several columns here because we just don't need them for this particular pr uh, process. Let's go ahead and delete them all. Okay. Now, usually, the from email address usually contains your customer's email. So we could get rid of the to email address. So let's go ahead, right click and delete this column. Now, what we want to do is export this 
to another CSV file. So we'll go up here to File, Download As, and we'll have comma separated values. Now the important thing to note before you download is you need to contact your newsletter provider, whoever you use, and see how this has to be formatted. See what the heads are supposed to be named. And sometimes you have to, you know, do the first name, last name thing. Sometimes it's just name. And then sometimes this is just email address. So we could put, <clears throat> or email. So we could change the heads, you know, and that's usually column one. Then we could go to file, download as, comma separated values. And then we'll put details, customers. Just like so, save it. And now we have it down here. We can go ahead and upload this to our email marketing campaign and remarket to the customers that purchased off us. Now, the only other thing that you need to keep in mind that is if you purchase, if it was a purchase made off eBay, you're going to get this. To get contact details, please visit your order details in my eBay. And eBay kind of has a hold on that. What you could do is use uh, eBay's email marketing for sellers. And what we, what the eBay has, and I'll you leave this link in the description of this video, they have their own email marketing for their newsletters. So the people that purchase from you from eBay, you can remarket to them by following these instructions here. And uh, once again, I'll leave this, these instructions in the video so that you can go ahead and remarket to your eBay customers. All right, that's all for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. There's more videos to come. Thank you. Bye-bye.